It's the Instagram house. Think of it as the blue house with the stained glass window. So if you want to see inside an Instagram worthy house in the most unbeatable central Edmonton location, close to everything that is awesome in Edmonton, you are on the right YouTube channel. Welcome to Queen Mary Park. Let's go have a look inside. The only sad thing about moving is actually leaving this house. And that is where you come in. In my opinion, there is nothing better than a 1950s house that has been restored and all of the vintage features are still intact. Come see, how cool is this house? Original hardwood flooring. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the cold ceilings. The number one question I'm going to get asked, how are the windows? All of these little lovely windows. Triple pane, they all open, they're all new. Makes a massive difference with the curb appeal, the inside outlook, amazing. This fire, not a fireplace, what's this called? This is called the dining room. Hello, welcome to the dining room. All of the doorknobs are still original and in perfect condition. All of the lighting is still original. All of this vintage stuff makes me so happy. And if you are a vintage lover, Let's keep looking, come see. Imagine all the dinner parties you will have in here. Let's just talk about the dinner parties. So fun, family dinner, looking out the window. It's just like, if these walls could talk, literally, the stories they would tell. Oh, the 1950s, nothing better than the 1950s. The nice thing about this living room in your cozy little sectional space is when you look outside through your brand new triple pane windows, you have all of this open space. You're in kind of like, the middle of the little cul-de-sac so you have open visual space outside all of the neighbors in this area take extra special pride in making sure their houses and their yards look nice so a real neighborhood feel it's super safe you will always see people running at night safe alone not worried lots of dogs i mean the rounded archways all of these cool little details this is what makes a house feel like a home how cute. I mean, just, I just, I can't, I can't tell you how much I love this house. And here's your little bathroom. This house has not one, not two, but two and a half bathrooms. You have two full bathrooms and a powder room upstairs. Adorable. Modern day appliances with lots of little like cottage feeling cabinetry. You've got all these cool corner windows. This goes right out onto your deck. So when you're barbecuing, in your gigantic backyard with your really super fun neighbors. We love it. We love it. We just love it. This, I mean, come on, how cute is this? This is not a fixture, but perhaps we could negotiate this for you. Awesome. Love this stainless steel sink. Come see the primary bedroom. Bedroom number one. Whoa. <laughs> bedroom number one. <laughs> Take your pick. This is probably the largest bedroom. Nice for a primary suite. You've got a extremely big closet. It's an old house. It's not an extremely big closet, but that's the charm of living in a 1950s house, okay? You can't have everything. Let's go, upstairs. Upstairs, so cute. Do -do 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 -do. Come on in to this cute little bedroom. The one regret that these homeowners have is not spending more time up here because it is so cool. They fell in love with this house because of these vaulted ceilings. They're so cool. I mean, this is just so charming. The brand new windows, come on, so cute. So, so cute. Another equally adorable bedroom, these brand new windows, all of them open. Have I told you how all of the windows open, how awesome this is? This is, oh, I love this bedroom. And I'm going to show you my favorite thing about this house, possibly one of 10 million favorite things. This jewel box light fixture is so awesome. And then look at this knob. Are you an appreciation of vintage as much as I am? This is awesome. And look at this. Come on, come on, come on, you can't. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, so many cool things. You even have a closet? A closet. They had closets in the 1950s, can you believe it? <laughs> and then, door number one walk-in storage room. This is a bathroom. Come on, the cutest little powder room. A 
bathroom upstairs in these old houses is very rare. How adorable. The house I lived in did not have a bathroom upstairs, let me tell you that. This was a closet, so this is awesome. This is awesome and adorable. Awesome and adorable. The second most popular question right now is does the house have a separate entrance to the basement? So in this house, it certainly does have a separate lockable basement entry. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Let's go downstairs into your guest room. Super cute, super cozy. You've got a closet. A couple fur coats in there. And then, of course, everyone's grandma had a cold room. Come see. This could be your wine cellar, your cold room, your canning room. Did I mention how many fruit trees are here? Strawberries, raspberries, Saskatoons, apples, like laundry baskets full of apples. So if you're gonna start your own little farmer's market in the backyard, here's your storage section. Did you know that? I learned this today, I didn't know this. Squash can last for two years like this. I didn't know squash could last for two, what could last for two years? Hmm. Another full bathroom. Nice and bright, nice little vanity. You've got a shower, two full bathrooms in this house, and then a little kitchen, come on. And then a little kitchen, you've got a little mini fridge, a full-size stove. I mean, this is where you can keep your deep freeze. And then this is where all the fun happens, in your rec room. This would be a playroom, a craft room, a rec room, a family room your yoga room, your gym, your Peloton room. You know, it's cozy, it'd be a great little theater room. There's no windows in this part, so it'd be nice and dark and cozy. It'd be nice and cool in the summertime. The nice thing about this house too is it does, stays cool in the summertime. It stays nice and cozy and warm in the winter time, so it's a good, you know, there's no issues. Storage, laundry, hot water tank, furnace, everything clean, everything working and perfect. So one of the nice things about this house is it has all of the ingredients that you're looking for. It's spacious, it has the four bedrooms, the two and a half baths, it has a good backyard, it has loads of parking back there, it's got garden boxes and a garden plot. There are flower beds on both sides in the front. They've done a ton of work to make the landscaping pretty. You've got great neighbors on both sides. On this side, they're super quiet. All you'll know is you'll only make friends with their dog, you'll never see them apparently. The neighbors on this side are super fun. They have campfires and little sing-alongs. Not noisy, just fun neighbors. So just a cool, such a cool eclectic neighborhood. I love it. So I think that anyone that is attracted to a house like this in a neighborhood like this cares about location. They wanna be in a fun central area. They care about the community. They care about being walkable. And this neighborhood is super walkable. A, there are three dog walking parks within walking distance for here, from here. So your dog will love it here too. They are a 10 minute walk to a good life. You are minutes away from numerous restaurants. If you wanna go for brunch, you can go have Eggs Benedict at Tiramisu. You are walking distance to 124th Street. You are a 10 minute drive to Bell Tower on downtown. Let me see what else there is here. We have, we are in range for the electric scooters, so you can just scoot around the city. And Secret Pizza is a wine store walking distance. Um, the float tank, oh my God. You can walk to the float tank, have a float and come back and go to bed. Oh my God, that would be heavenly. Who needs a hot tub where you can walk to the float tank? And again, people just really get into their curb appeal. They really care about their homes. They just have all these like cool eclectic homes eclectic homes with well cared for yards and that's the neighborhood that I want to be in and I think that you want to be in there too if you are watching this video so thank you for watching all the way to the end I love this house I hope you enjoyed it all of the details more information and photos are on the link below if you want to make an appointment that's in the link below as well call your realtor call me come see this house before it's gone have a good day